Hey everyone and welcome to the Zone of Tech. I am Daniel and you probably know the Galaxy S5, right? The upcoming Samsung Galaxy flagship. Well, if you do, you also know some of its specs. So new design, brand new design, larger display, also 4K recording and fingerprint reader. Yes, these are just some of the specs that have been leaked for the Galaxy S5, but the thing is you don't actually have to speculate on those specs anymore. Why? Well, because Samsung has made an official announcement that the Samsung Impact event, the 2014 Impact event, at which they will announce the Galaxy S5, has been announced. Yes, the event is now official. So let's have a look and see when is Samsung going to officially unveil the next Samsung Galaxy device, the Galaxy S5, and also what else is Samsung going to unveil at their 2014 Samsung Impact event. So without any further ado, let's take a look. So uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so as I mentioned before, Samsung has made an official statement, an official announcement, and Samsung actually sent out the invite, the official invitations for the event. And this is this is how the invitation looks. There you go, Samsung Impact 5 event happening next week on Monday. Yes, Monday, February the 24th is the date when Samsung will unveil the new Galaxy S5. And the event is going to happen at 8 p.m. in Barcelona, by the way, once again at the MWC or the Mobile World Congress. So in case you don't know, 8 p.m. CET or Central European time translates to 7 p.m. GMT or I believe it's 11, yes, 11 a.m. PST or Pacific Standard Time. Uh, just in case you don't know what's the time for your country. So there you go. Okay, so what is Samsung going to unveil at their impact event? Well, the number one device, the number one item they are going to unveil their event is the new Samsung Galaxy S5. Yes, that's the first one. And is this 100% confirmed? Is it 100% sure that the Galaxy S5, the new Galaxy X5, will make an appearance at their event? Well, yeah, it's 100% confirmed. Why? Well, first off, because the event is actually called Samsung Unpacked five event there you go and also if you take a closer look at the invite especially in the bottom right corner you can see a five which kind of looks like an s the five has been distorted to make it look even more like an s than it usually does which hints to the s5 or the samsung galaxy s5 okay so what are the features the specs of the new samsung galaxy s5 well it's going to come with a brand new design new design going back to the basics pretty much what lee young e the vice president the executive vice president of samsung actually said in a bloomberg interview that basically samsung wants to go back to the basics with the galaxy s5 now besides that besides the brand new design we'll see a larger display higher resolution ppi possibly 2k display brand new camera with the ability to record in 2k and also a fingerprint reader yes there you go fingerprint reader something like on the iphone 5s there you go so these are the main uh, the main features of the galaxy s5 now i don't want to go into any further detail because i've actually made a specific video just for that for the latest samsung galaxy s5 rumors and leaks so if you haven't seen that video simply click this annotation and you will be taken to that video and in case you are on mobile simply click the link in the description down below and once again you will be taken to my video in which i cover all the details of the Galaxy S5, all the latest rumors and specs, basically the final rumors and leaks of the Galaxy S5, so yeah. Okay, now what else besides the new Samsung Galaxy S5 is going to be unveiled at the Samsung Impact event? Well, it's going to be the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2, the second generation of Samsung smartwatch. Now, unfortunately, this is not 100% confirmed like the Samsung Galaxy S5 is, but Samsung did recently make a really huge price drop in the Galaxy Gear, in the first generation. So in case you don't know, Samsung actually dropped the price from 300 to $200, which is still expensive, but yeah, that was a really huge price drop which does hint to a next generation of Samsung Galaxy Gear devices. Now, reason number two why I believe the Galaxy Gear 2 might make an appearance at the Samsung Impact event next week is that Samsung's executive vice president, Lee young -Gi, actually stated that the Galaxy Gear 2, the next generation of Galaxy Gear, will be unveiled alongside the next generation of Galaxy S flagship, so the Galaxy S5. And since the Galaxy S5 is pretty much confirmed to make an appearance at the event, well, the Galaxy Gear 2 should be there as well. Okay, so what features will the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2 bring new to the table? Well, first off, a brand new design. Once again, the vice president of Samsung, Liangi, he actually stated that the Galaxy Gear 2, the second generation of Galaxy Gear, will feature more advanced functions and the bulky design will also be improved. So yes, brand 
brand new design is the number one thing that's going to change with the Galaxy Gear 2. Now, hopefully we will see something made out of flexible glass. Now, hopefully, we really do hope so because flexible glass smartwatches are basically the best idea ever. Now, as you probably know, the Samsung did release the Samsung Galaxy around a few a few months ago, which is basically the first curved smartphone in the world. That was the first one. And then LG released the LG Flex, which is actually flexible. The round isn't, but it's curved. Anyway, going back to the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2, the number two thing that's going to be, that's probably going to be improved is the battery life. Yeah, the battery life, because the Samsung Galaxy Gear 1 had an awful, awful battery life. You could basically get up to three days, depending on how you used it. And yeah, three days, at the most of so three days if you barely even touch the device and about one day if you used it for like i know eight hours or something so yeah the battery life was crap was honestly it was awful in that device now hopefully we will see an improved battery from the next generation of galaxy gears now besides the battery i really really do hope for a new charging system because the old galaxy i mean the current generation because i haven't introduced the second one so it's still it's not old yet it's still new yeah, kind of but yeah, the first generation uses a case to charge the device you have to put it in a case and then connect that case to a micro usb cable and charge it from there and honestly that was a pain that was a pain in the butt that's probably the worst way i've ever seen of charging a device and yes i really really hope that samsung introduces something like wireless charging hopefully with the new generation of galaxy Gear devices now feature number three is a brand new operating system and what exactly do i mean by brand new the thing is that they might actually launch tizen now in case you don't know what tizen is it's basically a custom built operating system made by samsung in conjunction with different companies but basically samsung is the main uh, the main player there because the new galaxy gear 2 might actually come with tizen instead of android so no uh, Tizen is not Android, although it is based on Linux, but no, it's not Android, it's something else. It's a completely different operating system, and hopefully we will see that with the new Galaxy Gear 2, because the first generation of Galaxy Gear did run Android, but it had, once again, it had Samsung's overlay, Samsung's TouchWiz over it, and it was really, really laggy, buggy, really slow, although it had some amazing specs. So hopefully we will see Tizen, I really do hope so. Tizen on the next generation of Galaxy Gear devices. So yeah, this is what I expect from the new Galaxy Gear 2. Now, once again, this is not confirmed yet. This is not confirmed. This is just what I hope so and what I believe the new Galaxy Gear 2 would feature after reading a lot of leaks and rumors. And yeah, this is basically what I wish the new Galaxy Gear 2 will feature. Now, the only problem I have with the Galaxy Gear 2 is that the third generation of Galaxy Gear, the Galaxy Gear 1, was released on the 25th of September 2013, which is basically, actually exactly five months ago. And my problem is that no company can redesign, reinvent the product in just five months. That's that's simply not going to happen. Only if you had, I know, a billion people, a billion scientists uh, working on that product. But Samsung does not have that. Samsung is far from having a billion people working on that. So uh, I have two theories for this. Now, my first theory is that Samsung actually reinvented the Galaxy S2 in just five months and came up with an unfinished product. So yes, yeah, so if this is the case, the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2 might be even buggier than the Galaxy Gear 1. But hopefully this is not the case. Now my second theory is that Samsung never intended to release the first generation of Galaxy Gear. And this is actually quite plausible. I do believe that if and only if Samsung releases a redesign, a brand new Samsung Galaxy Gear model, completely reinvented, completely redesigned, then yes, I do believe that the first generation of Galaxy Gear was a mistake. They never intended to release that to public. They just did it because they wanted to see how the product goes, how the market responds to such a new product. Because to be honest, Galaxy Gear 1 actually looks like a prototype. The battery life is awful, it's laggy, and it's $300. It's really, really expensive. And at launch, it only worked with one device, one device, which was the Galaxy Note 3. Now, unfortunately, at the moment, it works with the S4, the S4 mini, and the S3 as well. But at the beginning, at launch, it only worked with the Galaxy Note 3. And also at launch, it had about 15 apps, not 50, 15. Yeah, about 15 apps, which was a joke. Now, obviously they do have a lot more apps now, but this is basically what they had back in September when they released the product. But anyway, let me know in the comment section down below 
uh, what do you think? Do you think the Samsung Galaxy Gear 1 was actually a prototype or do you think my number one theory, my first theory, which is that, you know, the Galaxy Gear 1 was not a prototype and they simply rushed the production and uh, the redesign of the Galaxy Gear 2 to release it in just five months apart from their older generation. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, besides the Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy Gear 2, we also expect a brand new Galaxy Tab 4. Yeah, the fourth generation of Galaxy Tab which should come in 10.1, like the old model, 10.1, 8, and a brand new 7-inch model. But honestly, don't expect any astronomical specs from, uh, from those tablets because just a few months ago, actually a month ago at CS, Samsung released two Pro models, which do have some astronomical specs. So once again, don't expect any astronomical specs from those. So yes, this was basically, this was what I expect from Samsung's Unpacked event next week. But anyway, I will be doing a full coverage of the Samsung Unpacked event on Monday, February the 24th, once again at 8 p.m. Central European time. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel Zone of Tech if you want to be the first to see that event, uh, to see what happened at the event, what Samsung announced and released at the event. So thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like if you have enjoyed it. it helps me out a lot it took me quite a while to make this video so once again thank you all for watching don't forget to check me out on facebook twitter and also google plus because i constantly post tech updates even at the event at the samsung event i will post a lot of stuff on my twitter facebook and google plus accounts so don't forget to check those as well so once again thank you all for watching this video this was basically this was once again what i believe samsung will announce at their impact 5 event and before i go i just want you to make me a promise after the event, after the Samsung event, if Samsung announced everything I said in this video, just come back to this video, hit spam the like button, I know, comment that, I know, everything I said in this video turned out to be true. If it doesn't, then, I know, just leave me a comment anyway, just, you know, I, I just want to know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, thank you all for watching this video. I'm Daniel from Zen of Tech, and I'll see you in the next video, and until then, you know, like as always, cheers.